by Governor Northam's telling, he says that Virginia is getting better when it comes to administering the vaccines and nearing the benchmarks, but admits war work needs to be done. Meanwhile, he says he's still hoping to offer the vaccine to all Virginians by mid to late summer. Well, touting the mass vaccination clinic at the Richmond Raceway as an exciting day for the region, Governor Ralph Northam said the state was on its way to the goals he set to improve the vaccine rollout in Virginia. Our goal was to initially get up to 25,000 doses a day in Virginia. We're now right around 20,000 a day. However, Northam faced questions at the event over the pace of Virginia's rollout compared to other states. VDH's website shows only about 42% of Virginia's doses have gone in to arms, while the national average, according to Bloomberg's vaccine tracker, is at 47%. Dr. Danny Avula, who's in charge of the statewide rollout, says they're working to close that gap, but says there are other issues, such as delays in reporting. We have to make sure that that is a part of the process so that we have good accounting for every dose that's given. Avula says a new team of 10 people started this week to address that issue. He says another problem is that over 200,000 of Virginia's doses are earmarked for a federal program to vaccinate long-term care facilities. Many of our uh, long-term care facilities are actually experiencing active COVID outbreaks, which means we've got to put off those vaccination events uh, by a couple weeks. And while officials say Virginia is ramping up its daily capacity to administer more doses, they say the federal supply will be the next hurdle, one they hope the new Biden administration can help address. What we've heard is that we can anticipate, we can expect that what we're getting right now is what we're likely going to get through February. Now, uh, Dr. Avula notes that impact was felt just this last week where over 300,000 doses were requested, but the state only got 105,000. And he said that he has been told that he's not expecting things to improve significantly, significantly on the supply side until March or early April when other vaccines may be getting approved. We're here for you in